Sutter's Fort reopens this morning after a one-month closure for restoration work. And Matt Bello with the California State Parks Association joins us with more on what's new and an event happening this weekend. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having us. We're excited to be here. Okay, so tell us everything that you guys have accomplished in the last month. So right now we're in a series of projects uh, to help uh, renovate and preserve the fort. Um, so the last month it's been closed to work on grading, drainage, and putting in accessible pathways and get a head start on that. And we're excited to be back open to the public. Obviously, uh, there are some impacts to your visit. If somebody's planning a visit to Sutter's Fort, we advise them to call ahead, see what's, uh, what's open, what's closed, and what they can expect to find in their visit. And because of the impacts, we're happy to have reduced admission fees uh, as we reopen today. Oh, what are the reduced admission fees? We all like a good bargain. Uh, so for uh, normal days, it's three dollars for adults, two dollars mm -hmm. for uh, youth, and then on special programming days like the Hands On History, the history event we're having this Saturday, it's five dollars adults and three dollars for youth. Okay, and that's a discounted price. So what's left to do there? Because we can see that work is still going on. So what do you have left to do? Uh, so uh, right now you're looking at the west side of the fort. Um, they've uh, fixed. Uh, Drainage, so our drains actually uh, connect to something and help remove moisture from the fort. Um, they're grading it uh, to make it uh, level, to make sure that the water drains, and then they're going to be putting in accessible pathways and fixing the thresholds with the doors mm -hmm. to make the fort uh, more accessible for visitors and really try to improve the, the visitor experience at the fort. That's awesome. And now, what would you say when people do come back to visit? What do you think is the number one thing that people will notice that's changed? What do you think is the biggest obvious change? Uh, right now, it's the, the ongoing construction, but really, this is a series of projects that uh, we're very fortunate to have through state funding, um, uh, funding from our nonprofit partner, and funding from a private donor. Um, and the next one that's coming up is to paint the exterior walls, which will be a, a huge aesthetic difference at the fort, as well as a huge uh, preservation effort at the fort. Okay, so that's still to come. And what's the event that's happening this weekend? I know you briefly mentioned it. Tell us more about it. Yeah, so this weekend we're doing a hands-on history event, Fun on the Frontier. Um, we'll have uh, our state park uh, docents in costume, uh, interacting with the public and doing uh, different pioneer games, um, from gold rush gambling for adults to um, making cornhusk stalls with kids. Um, it should be a really nice family-friendly uh, event. Sounds fun. All right, Matt, thank you so much. We appreciate the update on Sutter's Fort in Sacramento.